Marbleizing is great for making jewelry or jewelry boxes, and all you need to do this marbleizing technique is a simple paper plate and a plastic fork and biocolor. All of these wonderful effects that we have here are made with this one marbleizing technique. All I'm going to do is take a Nancy bottle with biocolor and a paper plate and put a nice thick coat of three or four colors. I'm going to use dark colors here because marbleizing is all about texture. And so what I want is contrast. So I've got some nice cool colors and I'm going to add white on top for contrast. And then I'm going to take a plastic fork and simply run it through those colors. That's going to give me a nice marbleizing texture. But in addition to that, something that's fun for the kids, so I'm going to have them hold it up and watch it run down. And as it runs down, I'm going to kind of chase it around so it doesn't drip off. And it continues to give me a wonderful pattern that's building there. Now I'm going to set it down and basically leave it out to dry for a day or two. After it's dried, this is the effect that I'm going to achieve. It basically has dried right onto the paper plate. And out of that, I'm going to make my designs. Now, sometimes a very simple design, like this little diamond shape, are very effective. And they make a wonderful gift or piece of jewelry. Gretchen's going to show you how to make a jewelry box as well. You can either marbleize directly on top of your box, like this, or from the marbleized paper plate, you can cut out a shape that will fit on top of your box, like this, and mount it on the top of your box.